Africa. Let me thank you very much for your invitation to this meeting and to appreciate honorable members for the various statements that they have made all in furtherance of the development of KNUST. Um, as a member of the Constitutional Legal and Parliamentary Affairs Committee of Parliament, let me first of all uh, make some observations that I believe may enhance your parliament uh, as we take it that this is also a training grounds for you to build a career uh, into parliamentary service. First of all, um, I notice the observance of protocol. In parliament, we address the speaker and nobody else. And that is why, even though I have seen the dean of students and I've seen uh, uh, other dignitaries here, uh, I choose to address only the speaker. The second observation is that the, it may help if you adopt the style of just uh, going through your minutes instead of reading them. It's assumed that members will be finished with the minutes and they would read it before sitting, and so that the speaker may just want to go through page by page. Again, we do so because uh, the parliament is supposed to be a house of records, so every single word that is uttered here must be, in, uh, must be recorded. And so uh, if you can imagine if all the talks in parliament, we're going to read the minutes of all the speeches statements, uh, you will not even finish that uh, within a sitting. And that is why in most uh, parliaments, um, as a standard, would always just go through our minutes and it's up to members to uh, be diligent at reading them uh, before the sitting. Um, I hear people clapping and uh, which is unparliamentary, and so you may want to uh, desist from that and uh, probably use a universal here, here, uh, not here, 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 as uh, our way of responding to some of these things. I think uh, we, can, we can improve our parliamentary work or with these few observations. But let me first of all say that uh, having heard the statements by your honorable members, I want to comment on two main things, uh, on security and um, uh, the need to cooperate uh, with the university administration. We all know the uh, impasse that we had the, uh, the bad name, I should say, that KNUST had in the media uh, with respect to the demonstration, the closure of the school, and uh, all the related uh, stories. I believe that uh, as we speak today, we must rather focus on the positive side of things. Uh, conflict scholars say that not... Um, all conflicts are negative. That whenever there is a conflict situation, uh, conflict is a mechanism for positive social change. So in spite of the difficulties that we have had, I believe that we can still learn lessons from that. Both the university administration and the student body, we can all learn something from what happened so that we improve our relationship, our engagement uh, better. For, for, for the good of uh, KNUST. What I would like to urge you is to um, cooperate with the university administration 
Uh, when the issue came up, I was not in the country, but my, following the discourse, I realized that uh, there were many media guys who called me to make a comment. Some even asked me to make a statement. And then as a member of parliament for this constituency, I thought it wise to be very careful with uh, how I respond. Why? Because I'm an alumnus of this university. I'm an alumnus of Unity Hall. Um, I'm a former lecturer in this university. I cannot be seen to be antagonizing the university administration and antagonizing the student front. I, if anything at all, I'm supposed to be a father. And therefore, uh, whatever I had to do, I had to deal with the Minister of Education and then the Vice Chancellor one on one rather than you know, coming in. Because whatever you see, people will say, oh, he's an alumnus of uh, Unity Hall and probably that is why uh, he's saying that. Or probably he doesn't like the VC, that is why he, I cannot be seen to be doing that uh, because I'm supposed to represent the interests of the entire constituency. And I believe that we did our best behind the doors to make sure that uh, this uh, conflict uh, was managed. However, uh, when we see it, I think going forward it is important that we uh, channel our energies towards um, fostering a better cooperation with, with the university administration, administration so that um, going forward the, this university uh, will be uh, in a better position than before. Having said that, I'd also like to say that in terms of security, already I've been doing uh, some work uh, with the university administration. I recall when uh, an 18-year-old student committed suicide, allegedly. Uh, I came to the dean of students to have an engagement with him to try to understand the measures that the university is putting in place to make sure that student life is safe. I made a statement in parliament uh, titled No More Suicide on Our Campuses. And in that statement, I drummed home the need for um, all to ensure that the, uh, the security of students, the counseling uh, aspects when you come to uh, first year, the medicals and all, anything that it's related to making sure that students' life, uh, students have sound mind to, to learn, uh, you know, was drummed home. Uh, on top of that, uh, it may interest you to know that every month I provide uh, fuel to the district police command purposely to increase their patrol uh, in the areas where uh, we have student hostels off campus so that um, in addition to whatever the university uh, itself is doing, uh, that will be a little contribution uh, from the MPs uh, angle to make sure that the police are able to move. And so uh, my doors are still open. Uh, if you feel that the, there are still issues of security off campus, if you channel it through the uh, the appropriate quarters, uh, I, suggest, I, I suppose uh, the, the, deans, uh, the, the dean of students' office, uh, we may be able to do more. Uh, you may notice that from the IDRC to the engineering road, uh, the MC, the assembly, has put some lights. Uh, it is in our plan that this year we will do, no, next year, uh, we will do the road. Uh, that there's a hostel they call some, some I, I don't know, but they have some she name they call that place until something something. Nana Doma. So I think Nana Doma, uh, that road will be will be faced by the local uh, assembly. So these are some of the things that we're doing. I recall that sometime this year I hosted the uh, KNUST parliamentarians uh, in Parliament. I don't know if you are coming this year, uh, next year. Uh, if you let me know uh, in time, we will, uh, as usual, host you uh, in, 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 in Parliament uh, House. So um, I do not seem to have a lot to say, uh, except to wish you well and to say that 
as a parliament of this university, you also play an oversight responsibility. And I, I want to believe that the reports that will come from the various constituencies will be given the needed attention uh, by the speaker and the leadership of this house, and that any actions that need to be taken, uh, you may forward them to some of us. If my doors are open 24-7, uh, my office is at Mazima, so uh, when you get to Mazima and you ask for the uh, office of the MP, I think uh, opposite the electricity uh, cash office, my office is there, my doors are open. Anytime you are in Accra and Parliament is in session and you think that there's something we can discuss, uh, even if you want to ask a question to uh, the minister or you want to uh, make any strong statements even in national uh, affairs, that is also one of the reasons why MPs are there. So you can file or you can channel your questions to me if you think you need to ask the Minister of Education or the Minister of Science or whoever any question uh, because you are not privileged to be there, that is why I'm there. So you can, as a parliament, if you, if you hold a meeting and you have a resolution and you want to maybe make a statement uh, in the national parliament, you can also forward that to me. I can also make that statement uh, on, your, on your behalf. And so I look forward to greater co uh, collaboration. I look forward to working with you. And uh, I pray that uh, KNUST, our uh, alma mater, will be uh, a better place and that we will play our role as a leading institution for science, technology, and innovation development in this country. Speaker, I must thank you for this space. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, sir.